Hello. So the other day, I saw this um, talk in Svelte Summit by Annie Taylor Chen on building a Meowflix, which you guys should definitely check it out. Um, within the talk, I saw her slides when she moves from one slide to another. There's this uh, very amazing transitions that um, swipes through the text and then transitions to the next slide. So take a look. Um, so I played it slowly at a quarter speed. And as you can see, the there's a block, uh, there's a color block that swipes through the text. And as it shrinks, it reveals the text behind. So let me play that again. So um, the color block grows and shrinks and reveals the text behind. Let's see that again. Grows, shrinks, reveal the text. And what we're going to do today is, so what I'm trying to do today is to try to replicate this behavior in a Svelte REPL using uh, custom transitions. So um, here I have my basic setup. Um, so you can see there's a checkbox. Uh, and then as it clicks to check to show, uh, it will reveal two text, uh, hello world and custom transitions. And as I unclick it, uh, it will hide it. Uh, so it's implemented using a if block over here. So the first thing we're going to do is to write a custom transition, right? So a custom transition is nothing but a function. So I'm going to call this transition name swipe and it returns an object. Right, so it takes in a node that you're going to apply the transition to. So now I'm going to apply the transitions to the element itself. So I'm going to call transition swipe over here as well. Transition swipe. Okay. So what's going to be written from this object? Uh, so if you check the docs about custom transition, it says that it's going to return um, an object that has the following key uh, values, uh, delay, duration, easing, and CSS. And today we're going to focus more on writing the CSS function, right? So in the CSS function, uh, it takes in a parameter called t, which represents a uh, time uh, through the transition. So the time t itself will grows from t will grows from zero all the way to one, right? Um, so I'm gonna replicate or reproduce these transitions, right? Is to try to break it down into two parts. Um, so the first part is where the solid color block grows from like zero width all the way to um, full width covering the whole text. So I'm break it. And then the second half of it will be uh, shrinking the solid color block to reveal the text behind. So I'm going to chop the time into two halves. Uh, so the first half is z from zero to 0 0.5, which is where we will grow the solid color and at this point the text is hidden and the second half would be from 0 to 5 to 1 which we will shrink the solid color and the text is revealed in this case right so uh, so I'm gonna have a basic structure of how the code will look like so 0 0.5 and else it will be here, right? So the next thing is, how are we going to create like a, sh a growing solid color block? Um, so I have an idea is to use a linear gradient as a background. So let's try out like how linear gradient looks like. Here I'm going to write a diff with a width of 100 pixel and height of 100 pixel. So, and then let me put a border, right? So over here you can see like we have a solid square with 100 pixel width and height. So linear to gradient takes in a few parameters, uh, which is like the color stops. So it specifies like the color and the position of the color. So you can specify multiple color stops that will create the gradient, right? So we're gonna have the first stop as red color at zero position and the second color will be yellow at the hundredth position. As you can see here it starts from zero all the way to yellow at the bottom. 
So we can change the direction over here. So uh, I want it to be left to right. So I'll write to right. Now you can see the color grows from red all the way to the right, which is yellow at 100%. If I shrink this number to 40%, you'll see that the red transitions to yellow is from 0% to 40% of the block. And then from 40% onwards all the way to 100% will be a full solid yellow color. So in Linear Gradient, there's a concept called a color hint, which um, indicates how the two adjacent colors should transition. So in this example, if I specify 40%, it means that the color red will start to transition from 40% of the position all the way to yellow, which is at 40%. So in this case, both values are 40%. So you will see like a very uh, sharp distinction uh, from the first 40% of a red color and 40% um, all the way to 100% is um, yellow color. So I can change the yellow color to say transparent. Uh, in this case, you will see a red color block uh, at 40% width. So if I change this value from 40% to 60%, then you will see a solid color block of width 60%. So I'm going to use this as a means to create a solid color block, which grows and shrinks based on the value that we can control over here. So let me just copy this out and remove the rest. So in CSS method, um, you are going to return a CSS string. So in this case, we're going to return uh, uh, this string. And here, I'm going to do the same thing as well. So now let's figure out how what's the value that we are going to put in over here. Right, so in this case, um, oh, it, sh it should be less than 0 0.5. So in this case, we are going from 0 0.0.5. I'm going to grow the solid color from the left to the right. So um, over here, we have the red, which is a color, which we'll define later. So let's say color goes to red. And the value of here should grow should grows from 0 to 0. 100%, right? So we have a value t that goes from 0 to 0 0.5 and we are going to calculate the value uh, percentage that goes from 0 to 100. So let's do some math over here. So percentage should be a value times t and this value is um, so 200 because uh, 0 times 200 is 0 and 0 0.5 times 200 is uh, 100. Right, so we're going to use this value percentage over here and over here. Right. Uh, and over here, on the other hand, we are going to have a gradient of um, transparent all the way to the red color. So it should start from transparent to red. That's because um, the red solid block color will shrink um, from the left to the right. So let's calculate the value of here. So as it shrinks, it's also going to grow from 0 to 100%. So t is now um, 0 0.5 to 1. And we're going to calculate a percentage, which should go from um, 0 to 100. So how to calculate that? Um, so we can shift the value from 0 to 5 to 1 to 1 to a value of u which is um, t minus 0.5. This value itself will go from 0 to 0 0.5. Right, so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is 0 and 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. And now we have a range from 0 to 0 0.5 which is the same as above. So we times it uh, 200. So u times 200. Now we have the value of percentage. Let's pass it in over here. And we're going to use a variable uh, color instead of red. So let's see what we have. Right, so it's a bit too fast. I'm going to ch change the duration to, let's say, 3 seconds. 
So as it grows and it shrinks. Right. So um, if I don't have the first half of the, so let me comment this out first so that you can see what it's doing on the first half. Right. And what we have on the second half. Okay. Um, so we are almost there. Uh, the next thing is that we are going to hide the text, right? So for the first half, we, the text is hidden and the second half, the text is revealed. Um, how we're going to do it is that we're going to change the color of the text to transparent for the first half of the time and change it back to the original color on the second half of the time. So assuming the color of text is red, uh, we're going to, or rather this vari variable color that we will compute later on, we're going to set um, over here, color is transparent for the first half of the time. And here is the color is color right so let's check it out again right and transverse back yeah it looks okay now right so on the first half of the time you don't have the text and second half you see the text and then as it trans transition out the first half you see the text and then uh, the text is hidden so when you hide or you transit out uh, what happens is that the value will go from t from the value t will go from 1 to 0 instead of 0 to 1 um, if we calculate all of this correctly uh, still uh, the the same animation will actually be reversed so the next thing we are going to do is we have to figure out the color of the text so we can use um, a browser api called window dot get computed style so let me fix the text okay I mean pass in a node and the color okay so over here it will get the color that is being um, computed for this uh, node in CSS so depending on how what the specificity or whatever you specify in the styles or in the CSS uh, once it's set we can get the computed style and we can get the color of this so over here let's take a look at it again right so the the color of the block is no longer red but rather the color that is specified for the text which we specify over here in, in the css right let me show that again so the last thing is the ice uh, the icing on the kick is to take in a parameter called params over here so the second argument of um, a custom transition is actually the object that you can pass in over here so i want this to have like certain kind of delay which is say um 500 millisecond right um uh, if i so this params will be that object the delay 500 millisecond right so i need to use these params and provide it um, to the transitions itself if I don't do anything, there's no delay. Right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if nothing is being provided, I'm going to fall back to an empty object. And I'm going to spread this over here. So I'm going to return the same delay or duration that is being passed in by the object itself. And take a look. It's a 5 second of delay. Uh, sorry, 500 milliseconds of delay. Right, delay five milliseconds before you exit out. And so I'm gonna remove this duration so that it goes to a default duration. Right, thing so in default in Svelte uh, for duration will be 400 milliseconds, which is thing should be written somewhere in here in the docs. Right, 400 milliseconds. That's the default. Um, so here you go, uh, custom transitions. 
uh, with the animating color solid block based on the color of the text. So see you next time.